Hi, I'm Paul Sunt, Segment Manager, Oil & Gas Service in Energy Division. And I'm Greg Parsons, Product Manager for My Spare Parts. And together, during the last three years, we have developed a series of tools and applications under the name of My Spare Parts. And recently, we have launched a series of videos and recordings for how you and your customers best can utilize these applications. My starting point will be that you have a valid MyABB account and then you are familiar with the basic structure of MyABB. We have navigated to the, the spare part widget that you will find on the left side menu and then selected a specific site for this demo purpose. In this case, it's a site in Italy where there are no data available. We now go through the process on how to upload, analyze the data for this specific site. Now, there are two ways of doing this. One is to use the download and upload features that are here available in the, the widget. But I'm going to select the second one, which will be a direct web link that you can share with the customers for this specific demo. The analyzer consists of three easy steps. First is to download the, the parts template. Uh, this is an Excel file that will be populated with three basic pieces of information. The part number, the description and the quantity that the customer has in their inventory or in their stock. Two of them are marked with asterisks, and these will be the required fields that are mandatory to include. In this case, Greg has helped me to find 16 unique parts, an arbitrary quantity for each respective part. Once you have this completed, you will save this on your local hard drive. And please remember, do not change the name of the template because it needs to match once we go to the next step, which is to upload the same file. So once this is uploaded, uh, Greg will navigate to find the correct site. You will now see that you immediately have the initial report for the submitted analyzer data. You will recognize that we have 16 pieces submitted. And in this case, we have matched 14 of them and we have two that are unmatched. Matched means that the part number that has been submitted is recognized with the information that ABB has available in our master data. The two that are unmatched means that further investigation needs to be taken for us to be able to determine why the customer has parts that has an unmatched ABB part number included. We now can go to the final step, which is to get the full report. Um, there are two things that needs to be concluded here. First, you need to include the contact information. In this case, Greg has selected himself. And the second thing that will need to be done is to go through four questions that are available uh, that we would like you to address to the customer. So do you know the condition and location of your, all your spare parts? Have you had downtime from missing or failed parts? Are your spare parts kept in a sealed static bag, or so in a sealed boxes? And are you aware of all options and programs that ABB have available for spare parts? So once these questions have been answered, you complete this step and you will see that the, a request has been created. And I ask you to pay attention to the, uh, the number 887, which is the identification of this specific request. Now the customer is done on the back end. And in the front end, we will now have our specialist go through this on a regular basis and go through all of the requests that we have been submitted. In this case, you will recognize the request 887 that we just submitted. And Greg will now proceed to take ownership of this specific request. And his first point of action will be to connect this specific report to the site in question. So Greg has now identified the ServIS site ID for this request, and he will assign this to the same site that we saw earlier in this uh, demo. Everything has now been completed, all the data has been set, and Greg can now proceed to either approve or reject this uh, analyzer report request. In this case, this will be approved and the front end is now also complete. If you now navigate back to the My Spare Part widget, we do a refresh and we will see that the report in question now has shown up and is visible to the external customers. If 
this wants to be investigated, you now have the opportunity or the customer now have the opportunity to get access to this report by the action icon that is indicated on the screen. I hope you find value in these series of videos. Please contact us with questions, opportunities, or follow-ups. I ask you please to watch the additional videos that we have available on hand and how to use the other MySpaper tools and applications that we have. So thank you very much.